everybody, Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique, and today we're checking out the Clang instrument family from Cinematic Instruments. We've just added a bunch of these instruments. They're very, very affordable stream backed contact instrument libraries that sound absolutely fantastic. Everything in the project you heard in the beginning of this video, this one right here. Everything except for the drums is made from one of these instruments. They just have so much rich character to them. It was really easy to make sort of this laid back, chill out, trip hoppy sound. What I'm gonna do in this video is walk you through the different instruments I used in this project and show you around each one of these. They're laid out fairly similar. The one I have loaded right here is called Gambastard. And what it is, is a guitar plucky sound. And I've got three main controls. I also have delay and reverb built in. We can actually choose the different reverb type right here as well. And then we have some modulation and distortion options, which are just on or off. So what I wanna do is just go ahead and play this. I'm gonna adjust the balance. There are two samples that you can um, kind of swing back and forth between the length and the tone, just so you can really hear what the differences are and how many, uh, or how versatile this particular instrument is. Okay, so that's the basic gist of the Gambastard Symphonic instrument. Let's check out a few more that I have inside of this project. Okay, here I have the Dusted Home one, and I'm just using this for the subby uh, low-end bass. Inside of Ableton Live, here I have it side-chained and EQ'd, but if I turn those off, we can hear the instrument as it was. So let's keep moving here. Here I've got the cassette kalimba. This is a really cool instrument though. I really, really like how all of these sound trip hoppy. Like they sound exactly how you buy a bunch of plugins to make clean instruments sound right out of the gate. I love it. And I also love, as I've said in many videos, how easy they are to use. I don't like to be bogged down when I'm being creative on having to really tweak out every single parameter that's possible inside of a massive synthesizer. Sometimes that's fun when you're doing sound design, but for the most part, when I'm trying to get a piece of music done, I like to just drag and drop an instrument on there and just get to work, you know what I mean? And for this one, I've got the strings instrument here. And 
And I actually have a bunch of processing going on. I've got a compressor, I've got Filter Freak and a panner. So let's turn those off and see what it sounds like without that processing. Let's keep moving, let's check out another one. I've got the Tranquil Meadow one here. It just sounds so good. Uh, I use that with the Filter Freak 2 again, just to get sort of a rhythmic sound. And then finally, I have the Reverbception one. And I'm using the Echo Boy for those delays, but I could easily just use just the delay inside of here. Almost sounds like a distorted guitar when you turn on the distortion over here. But as I said, we have a bunch of those just put on Plugin Boutique. If you're interested and you like the feel of these, they're all in the sort of similar vein. They all sound vintage. They all sound really, really nice. And between all of the built-in effects and anything you can do to post-process them, you can get a really wide range of sound from any one of these really simple to use instruments. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. Definitely go check out the new Clang instrument series we have on Plugin Boutique. Links in the video description as always. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.